Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where we are currently waiting out the life of this person. And are we currently truced to the Byzantines? Yes. Yes we are for a little while here. Actually, hang on. This is a different Byzantine entirely that we are truced to. I'm not sure which Byzantine it is, but it is not the top level liege. So that is useful for us. Very, very useful. What are these claims that we've got? Over on Crete? That's not useful. This might be, but it's only a single county. Same thing with this. I think we're better off not doing that. Now, we are low on our prestige right now. We're going to have to hold off before we do this, but that is okay. I don't actually mind that too, too much. We can definitely hold off on that for a moment here. And we're hindered from declaring war on this for three years. That is fine as well. So we need two more Byzantine Wars. We're going to declare one just as soon as we have the prestige. We could get the prestige by making titles. But I don't want to do that. Not until after we have inherited. I would rather spend this money on investments right now and just let our prestige slowly tick up. Now this character is likely to die quite soon. We should definitely double check our succession. Looks good. Our succession looks completely fine. I don't have an issue with that in the slightest. We do need to invest a little bit more over here, and we do have this dangerous faction. And by dangerous faction, I mean it's peasant rabble. I don't feel like that's an issue. <laughs> like, that is not even close to a problem. I don't really want to invest in these just yet. What is our current fascination? It's on guilds, and that's 11 years away. Okay. Good to know on that front. We're no longer obese. I don't think we were even trying to lose weight. Because we don't care whether we die or not at this point. Yeah, we definitely need a little more cash. That's for sure. We're going to continue investing here. We're making 150 gold per month right now, and we have a very extensive empire. In fact, I believe we are currently the preeminent world power, at least on the map currently. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're the most powerful. Followed by the Arabians over here. Now, they're a problem, and we're planning on declaring on them relatively soon. We definitely want to take Egypt away from them. Any of their holdings in Africa, in fact, we want to remove from them. But we're holding off on that for the moment. We were relying on them for protection against Crusades. I feel like at this point, we don't really need to do that anymore. But we're just holding off now until we have the actual ability to take a kingdom level title from them. So that is what we're waiting on there. And I don't see any reason to make them angry until we get to that point. Now we're at 593 prestige right now. Our war against the Byzantines is going to cost 675. So that's only a few more months away. The Duchy of Tripolitania would be a fantastic one to go for. In fact, either of these. This one is, yeah, they're all they're both three counties. What is happening over here? Who are you? What are you doing here? Duchess of Rashka, who are you? You're a vassal in our realm. Perfect. Yeah, that that's okay. We don't care about that. So our vassal is actually taking this over for us. We don't have to worry about that. That is amazing. We are going to go ahead and raise our troops right here. We've got some peasants to deal with, and we will do so. We don't need any more troops in this. This is completely fine. We're at the point now where anytime we become obese, we start dying. But I don't care about this character's death, ultimately. I would like to survive long enough that we are able to declare on the Byzantines. That would be nice. That is a faith conversion task that just finished up. That is very, very good. And we'll continue working on this region up here. Sounds good to me. We did just gain a stress level. That's okay. Oh, we captured the guy. Sure. <laughs> Fantastic. I was hoping to maybe get ourselves a little bit more prestige out of that, but sure. It ended up coming in as fame rather than prestige, so it's okay. 
How's this battle going, or rather this siege going over here? Once they finish this, this should enter our territory, which I'm very okay with. That will save us a war, as well as a decent chunk of cash. We do still need about two more month ticks. Two more month ticks here before we can declare this war. There is another dangerous faction here. This is a liberty faction. Okay. Now, this faction, we should definitely do something about... And it looks like we have options here. These are grandsons. Not ideal. We could blackmail him. Or... Hmm, what else can we do? Can we negotiate with any of these guys? No, that's okay. I mean, it's just a liberty faction. We may not even live that duration of time. For now, I'm going to hold off on it. Stewardship lifestyle perk, huh? That's plus 20% garrison size, which isn't actually useful. But that's good. We now have that under control, and we should declare on the Byzantines. Absolutely. And we're going to do a Conquer Duchy. Fantastic. We will, of course, raise up our troops somewhere around here. That is quite a ways away. And the Byzantines may come over here fairly quickly. We'll see. All we need, of course, is our men-at-arms. I don't think we need... Well, we might need more troops. They have access to as many as 25k. So that's something we'll need to consider for sure. This is plenty. We don't need any more than this. And we will begin sieging. Now, as far as this faction goes, I'm okay with lowering the crown authority, but I would prefer to do that next life. Absolutely. We'll put this guy in as our steward. How are we looking here on that liberty faction? Yeah, I would very much like to get this guy out of the faction. We would actually have to get two out of here. 47 opinion for 168 gold. I will actually take that. That should get those two out of the faction, I believe. At least eventually they'll exit that faction. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. For now, we can... Yep, there it goes. For now, we can die. Okay. <laughs> So we are dead, and we have taken over as this guy. He is already 57. So that is the first thing to notice here. Now, we're above our domain limit, and that's because our spouse is absolutely terrible. So we're going to make this person be our new primary spouse. Did our realm color change? Why would our realm color change? I have no idea. We'll demand her conversion, though. There we go. And that should put us up to nine of seven. Oh, wow. Oh, right, because this guy's an astute intellectual. It's this guy that is a, well, thrifty clerk, but even so. <laughs> okay, so that did drop our total soldier amount pretty dramatically. We definitely changed our realm color when we inherited. That's interesting. Now, I am going to still go for a stewardship focus, I think, on this guy. Although he does have learning. He's already whole of body. And working the way down the scholar tree. Maybe we should go for a scholarship focus for the development growth for this guy's life. We could do that, I suppose. So we'll put this guy in as our chancellor. This guy in as our steward. Actually, I hate it. I'm going to put, he's only one skill worse than our next highest? No, skill 26. We'll put that guy in as our steward. We will put in this guy as our Grand Amala. I don't actually mind losing the learning here. We will put in this guy as our Marshal. There we go. And the Spy Master will be this guy. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm definitely concerned about our domain limit right now. Let's tick forward. Now, our wife is skill 19. What is she currently doing? She's on assist ruler. We're going to switch her over to manage domain, which puts us up to 9 of 8. Now, I believe there's not 
anything down here that will give us anything particularly good in terms of our domain limit. So we're probably going to end up having to drop one of these titles. And I think it would be Kira. So let's go ahead and grant this off to someone who is the correct religion and culture. Fantastic. And now we're above our vassal limit. That's okay. We can create ourselves some titles. I can't help but notice we're losing 35 gold per month. Oh, we're generous? That's disgusting. <laughs> that is absolutely disgusting. We do need additional spouses, that is for sure. And we will go for ones with decent congenital traits. Like, this one is actually pretty good. And one direct vassal above our limit. Okay. That's not too bad. Kingdoms cost 400? Sure. So we'll go ahead and grant or create that title, and we will grant that off to this guy. Oh, he's the wrong religion. We will instead grant it to someone who is the right religion. And ideally the right culture as well. Anybody over here? Hmm. What happens if we demand conversion of this guy? Might accept. What about this guy? If you convert, then I will give you the uh, kingdom title. No? Okay, he refuses. Let's try this guy. Hmm, hook? No. Pass. Let's try this guy. He's the wrong culture. Um, who else? This guy. Let's see if he accepts. Nope. Okay. We do need to move these. We're going to do so. And just looking at the kingdom title here. Okay. This guy's probably not going to. Yeah, all of these up in this kingdom are currently the incorrect religion. We'll see if this guy accepts. He may or may not. Nope. Nobody wants to be king. Literally nobody wants to be king. Baffling. Absolutely baffling. Well, I guess I'll grant it to this guy and then ask him afterwards if he'll convert. He'll be much more likely with all that opinion. So like this, he becomes our vassal and five vassals will be transferred with the title. There we go. He's now got a lot of opinion. 21% chance of acceptance. Oof. Nope. He refused. Sad. And we can't ask him again for quite a long time. I was really hopeful that that would get us enough opinion, but nope, no such luck. Now, this is a dangerous faction here. This is a liberty faction. We, ex we expect this, and we allow this to go off, and we go down to high crown authority when it does. That is completely okay. We're going to create more of these, but we're going to have to wait until after this war is over. We definitely have some financial situations going on here. There's no doubt about that. This guy is just not as good financially. Nowhere near. Skill 14 on the stewardship. That's very, very rough. Okay, we're going to come up here in siege. We did get ourselves a hostage there. And we're going to ransom them back. For the 10 gold in hopes that we stay a little bit above our monthly income here. Excellent. And we'll go ahead and begin sieging this. Now, this guy is the wrong education, and that's to be expected. I'm wondering what his heir... Okay, his children here definitely need to be put onto... We can't change it because we don't control him yet. We could invite them to our court, though. And they will accept that. So we're going to recruit this guy to our court. There we go. And now we can choose his education focus. As well as his sibling as soon as that gets accepted. 
So we'll let that get accepted. There we go. And we're going to change that over to a stewardship education as well. Okay. Hopefully it's not too late on that front. We should also get them educated by someone who is good. However, we don't have the access to educate this child. Oh, we'll recruit him to our court. There we go. Now we can educate him. So we will want this to be someone with very, very high stewardship. Like our Midas touched wife. Perfect. And then this guy we will educate by, once again, our Midas touched wife. We don't want them to be culture or religion converted, so that's fine. Excellent. I'm going to split this force in half. We're going to take this force over to here. And I'm actually going to assault this. I want Ticking War Score on our side. Fantastic. And I want to pay less. So this will be fine too. Yeah, we take huge losses for it. We expect that. And we allow it as well. So we're going to head on over. We don't need to fast siege anything else in particular. To be okay. But now we have Ticking War Score on our side. And we're making cash. So that is good. We can ransom this person. They're not contributing to our war score, and so we shall. Oh, we have low control in our counties. That is definitely something that we need to work on. Hmm. Yeah, we do. We're going to go for Yao first, and that'll be fine. Fantastic. This siege will finish up momentarily. There we go. And we're going to come on down. Okay, so we are going to accept these demands. That is fine. We don't mind this. We completely allow that. That brings us off of absolute crown authority. So that's a plus 20 opinion for every vassal that we have. That is great. I don't know why our color chain. Okay, whatever. That's interesting. <laughs> I guess this is our color now. Wonderful. That's fine. I don't mind it. We're at 44% war score here. We're currently gaining a lot more now. 14.3. That is great to see. Very, very happy about that one. And we are going to want to declare on these guys at some point. We can't do it, of course, because our armies are raised. And we're currently allied to it. That's interesting. Ah, because there's a betrothal here. Okay. Sounds good. We will attack him at some point once that alliance breaks. And it'll probably break relatively shortly. I mean, we could break the betrothal. But for right now, while we're still solidifying as this guy, I'm okay with being allied with them. Later, a little later anyway, we will definitely attack them. Because I want to use up our kingdom claim this lifetime. That is for sure. Our stress is definitely up there. What do we have for stress reduction? Embrace celibacy. I mean, we could. But I'm not sure we should. We won that siege. Fantastic. We're currently at 55% war score. With ticking war score, just ticking away. Excellent. Our income is definitely improving. And, oh, we do have too few spouses. Ah, it's this betrothal. That's actually giving us our alliance over there. We're probably going to break that betrothal in a little bit. I think for now, we're going to look for another wife here. Just because we want to be getting the piety. So that'll be fine. Excellent. And we do need a spy master, and this guy will get the job. Excellent. A pretty seamless transition, honestly. I'm very happy about that. And we're going to have this finished up shortly. Once this is done, I think we're probably just going to put these guys down and wait on ticking war score. Which we should get quite a lot of. And if we have to raise them up again, we always can. So we'll take that, and we'll disband this army for now. We're at two-thirds war score. I like it. 
and we don't see any enemies at the present juncture. So we'll just keep that occupied and just keep with that. For now, I do want to do additional investment over here if we can. This guy isn't going to be the most impressive earner, for sure. But we'll see. His stress is at 99. We definitely should do something about that, but these options aren't necessarily great. Not necessarily great at all. Okay, so our marshal is going to be done increasing control in Yao in just a moment. Our control levels everywhere else are mostly decent. We need control in Diamer and Garumel, so that'll be fine. That's definitely something that we can do. I do want to get these Mason Guilds built. That will be a very, very big deal. How's our capital development going? Reasonably, but we're not currently working on it. We're currently collecting taxes, and given our income level, I'm okay with that. That generous reduction, plus not being on wealth focus, plus not having hair geld, that is painful. That is definitely painful. We're going to ransom these prisoners. That will be fine. What can we call on our, our, our caliph for? Oh yeah, we still have this war. I'm already moved on from this war. But uh, technically it's not done. There's our control increase finishing up. That's great. Let's go ahead and work on another control increase in Diamare. This, of course, is one of our best financial duchies, or one of our financial counties, rep. So that's fantastic. This mosque over here definitely is going to need some upgrades. Ah, it's the wrong culture. This holder specifically, is of the wrong culture. I'm going to revoke that from him. And I'm going to grant this out to someone else. What? Okay. That guy's fine, I guess. <laughs> I didn't necessarily mean to give it to that guy, but it's okay. He is the correct culture. So that's good. Now, we're going to have this finishing up in about 20 months and guilds in about five years. That's all well and good. We're going to have this war finished up relatively soon. And that is absolutely fine as well. We need another 18% on that. That won't be too, too bad. I want to get a little bit more investment going on here, and I want to get these control levels up. That will all be very, very useful for us. Of course, this control level is currently reducing our taxes in the county by 11% which is kind of huge. Prefer not to have that happening. We're now up to earning 90 gold per month. That's great. And we do need to work up our level of fame as well. We can create titles, and that's probably something that we should do. The Duchy of Cantabria here, we'll go ahead and create. And we'll grant that to this person. They're not the correct religion and culture, but that will change eventually. Okay, there we go. And we can create this one as well. We'll go ahead and create that. And that goes here. You are not correct either, but sure. That's actually completely okay. We'll grant this out, and it will be like that. However, we should definitely make these empires. Let's go ahead and grab scholar scholarly circles here, I think. Same faith opinion wouldn't necessarily be the worst either. Yeah, that'll be fine. Hello, Dutchy View. That's quite the thing, isn't it? Dutchy View. I like it. And Realm View. We sure have blobbed. There's no doubt about that. I do want to continue to invest, but I also really want to work towards Exalted Among Men. Of course, in order to do this claim, I believe... Yeah, I want this to be... What's it called? I forget what they're calling it. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Uh, sure. Yes, that overwhelms us by stress, but that is fine. I want to see what our options are. Not great, is the answer. Our options are not great. Okay. 
this one. This is the one that we'd want. That's not too bad in terms of cost. Of course, we do need to be exalted among men, and that is what we are working towards. I would love to create these kingdom titles, and in fact, let's work on that. The kingdom of Asturias is definitely something that we want to create. And this person here, they are the correct faith, so we'll just go ahead and grant it to them. There we go. Fantastic. That does get rid of our marshal, and we will put this guy in as our new marshal. Wonderful. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue solidifying here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.